Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this Council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. 
I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. The Asari were the first species to discover the citadel. When the Salarian, the Geth, are a humanoid, the Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive Driven from their home system by the Geth nearly three centuries ago, most Quarians now live aboard the migrant fleet, a flotilla of 50,000 vessels ranging in size from passenger shuttles to mobile space stations. Home to 17 million Quarians, the flotilla understand... Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer... Medigel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMT, all modern infantry weapons from... In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment.
I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. 
Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding a conduit. If we really want to make the captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am.
Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. 
Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... They died, you lived. That happens in this job. Yes, Commander. Believe me, I understand that. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The answer seems plain enough to me. Be more alert. Aye, aye, Commander. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Commander, good to see you.
If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. We saw your ship. Fide Dan wants to speak with you immediately. What's so important he needs to see me right away? The Geth are making another push. Fide Dan is preparing our defenses, but he needs your help. Please, up the stairs past the freighter.
Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. But what if I find Geth there? Are you saying you won't go? Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! an update, we can head out for the main Geth encampment.
This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Untrained civilians. It's a miracle anyone is still standing.
Tower secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm interested in what Saren sent the Geth to find. Nothing more. If it's Geth you're looking for, you've come to the right place. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Tell me what the Geth want. Why are they attacking you? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational. We'll get going then. Good luck. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Fork over the reward so I can get back to more important things. Of course. I don't want to delay you any more than I already have. Commander? What can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. Commander, what can I do for you? What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? Getting rid of the Geth in the tunnels helped us immensely, Commander. But there are still some other mundane necessities, like food, water, and power to think of. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck.
This work must be completed. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. You know where to find the problem with the water. The colony can't afford to lose any more of us. We're just too vulnerable. You're very focused on the water despite the constant attacks. I... I can't think of anything else. So much has happened. It's... If I stay focused on this task, the pain goes away. I understand the discomfort she feels. The threat is very real. I have to go. I wish you luck. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fidan. He, he knows the colony better than me. Goodbye. Good luck out there. This work must be completed.